know it's your boy Shank Diggity Dang, the Jewelry Maestro, and you are watching Street Talent, and um, this is my section, and I'm in control today, and I'm taking you to Bim, I'm taking you already up to Bimzola Street. That's where we're at, and that's what's going down. Let's see some of the talent and see what's good. So the tingle. Where the gala move sometime, I drive man mad and ting. Head gun, you hear me? Julie gun, Julie. Yo, you're welcome back to Street Talent and um, the story continues. Your boy is still here on road and I'm about to introduce some of the talent for today, for my session, for my segment. And um, yeah, we're still at Kalakuta Republic, Bimisola Street, Genja, of Allen Avenue, Lagos, Nigeria, the world, Earth, this Milky Way, solar system, galaxy, no long talking. Brother, introduce yourself, let these people know what you do and how you do and why you do what you do. No <laughs> like that, brother. Um, my name is Kole Hash. Um, I, uh, I'm the lucky guy that is managing this place. Uh, I run this spot basically for the Kutis. Um, I'm, uh, I have an LLBBL, that means I studied law. I've got a certificate in um, advertising and marketing from the London College UCK. And I rap. Uh, I do underground rap music. That means that I'm not. Um, I want to blow, but it's not necessary that I blow. You know, I can make money from other places, like. But you know, but I know how to rap. And for all those youngins that are there, maybe you're already on TV, or you want to be on TV, and you don't have ideas of what to sing anymore. Come and meet me. I'll write a couple of lyrics for you. You get me? So basically, that's what I do. And why I do what I do? I do it for the love of the money, though. And um, I don't have much of it anyway. You know, you know how they go now. So, but basically, everybody, every man wakes up every day trying to get this cash, we're trying to get paid, we're trying to survive, we're trying to make my mama happy, we're trying to credit my phone, we're trying to do, you know, just leave now. You get me? Yeah, cool, cool, that's real, that's real. So, my brother, how long have you, like, like the music bit, you said you rap, so how long have you been into that? How long have you been doing it? Well, I've been rapping since, like, um, I think 19... Don't say all your life. No, no, my okay, life. Too. 90, 90 something. I think I heard a Wu Tang CD. Ah. And I think they were still grave diggers then. And I just went, man, yeah, no. and I just went mad. I can't remember exactly which one. And I, and I saw the, the the video, and I was like, Nah, I'm gonna do that. I think it was just shortly after my father died. Oh wow. You know. Wow. But basically, um, I've never really attempted, you know, coming out like making music commercially or anything. But in 2010, I I did. Partially try because I I I, I, felt, I I messed with Mood Nine, um, Red Eye Music for a while, and um, and it was good. But afterwards, I, I found that the music industry was more uh, rigorous than just rapping. So right now, I'm just <laughs> living a rubber life. Cool, 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 cool. I like how you let you lay it all down on the table. You're real like that, and you're open. So, in that spirit of openness and oneness, you know what I mean, my brother? Do you have like um? Let's say a couple bars to spit, just for the fun of it. I would normally say F of it, but I would just say fun of oh, it. Oh, right, yeah, because I almost, I almost made the mistake <laughs> I know, of my right. life. I was the going there, I was well. going there as well. So, you know, um, um, the producer is sweating big right now if you're watching this. Um, well, don't worry, we're not swearing anymore. Um, yeah, I could do something because I'm working on uh, on an internet uh, project called the 419 Mixtape. And that's just me uh, releasing a couple of tracks, a couple of rap music by myself on SoundCloud, I think. And um, yeah, I could, I, could, I could speak a couple of lines. Last get the king, about to get it in. Lyric in for the underground niggas listening. It's been a while, I seen the style roll like mining, straight from the lungu. Hotter than not a gungu, up in your nostrils. I'm soaking up rhymes like a re and coast milk. It's no kidding. Last giddy cast love me like Edge didn't. I know you wish they didn't. Man, I got this a rubber chick who knows how to suck up. I swear this girl should love my condo. Like you love the party and do the azonto. Or a tiggy, we getting jiggy. Every day, all day. Call a. It's like Tino Wachebe. I'm high on Shekwe and world famous like Keke. Still reppin' for Last Giddy. Everybody in the place just gotta feel me. Kala Kuda, Kali Ash coming through with the rap music. Kali Kama Sutra, 
We love make it, sick it, the whole of Giddy and the Gay Gate. Where you go, where you quick cake, where your money and the A go every day, yo. Call the asses going up. Keep it going, flowing. We my man Shaq. I say we represent for the ghetto, money to the bank, freestyling, sometimes my mind is blank. I'd rather write it, but it's a bit less exciting. Freestyling is a habit. Grab it. How you want to have it? I like to do that fella cootie. Get onto the streets of Shrine and burn up some scooches. No, I should drink it. <laughs> That's me thinking. And it's part of the music. Feel the acoustic. I'm about to put it down for the whole of whatever. I'm still better than most of the guys on your TV. Uh-uh. You don't have to see me on this particular station. Come to the Calicotic Museum and we could get it on strong. We've got Alamo Peters and Sashino Peters coming through. Shoki getting nominated for another Grammy. I see that ghost is fine. I want to get up. Panani, sorry that's not a swear word. Dear Lord, I love the rap, talk a lot of crap. I ain't got no money and um, I live in a shack somewhere in the solo. I'm black, but I could paint a whole lot of pictures filled with a whole lot of colors. My mixtape is 419. I don't do crime, nigga. I'm more than clean. Representing for the green, white, and the green. I keep it fat, I keep it slim. When I'm talking about the, you know the Zuby. Please don't push me. Now you want me to stop. Okay. <laughs> that was good, that was good. So, boss, um, like, People who get to see this and they want to know more about you, know what you're up to. Like, do you have any means of contact online, like a Twitter handle, Facebook? Yeah, I do. I do Twitter. I do Facebook. Um, um, Kole Has, as I said, I'm at Kole Has. That's at K O L E H A S H. But I'd rather you not contact me unless you are dealing about money and stuff. And you know, I'd rather not be ESF. I'd rather be. You know, doing marketing for one of those big companies and writing proposals and stuff. But you know, for my boy Shank, I'll do anything. German show. You would rather not Salute. be here. So yo, <laughs> try not to uh, uh, um, contact him with discretion. <laughs> Welcome back to Street Talent, and um, it's your boy Shang Didi Dang the Julie Mai Show, and we're still on Bimmy Solar Street. Um, right now, I want to tell you why I chose Bimmy Solar Street is because um, geographically, this is the location of my idol, one of the biggest musicians out of Africa, Felani Kulako Kuti. One, Abamieda One. As in, I don't even know, man. I, if I go on, I could go on all day. Dude has a lot of names. So yeah, he influenced my music from day one. He gave me. He, influenced the, the idea of becoming a musician. He kind of helped me with that. And um, speaking of Fela and Sheon Kuti, his son, who happened to be a friend of mine at the time, so all that helps me become the person I am today. That's in my career, that is. And um, I grew up here, so 
that's another reason why we're here because childhood memories I remember strolling running down the street when I see fella I'll be scared and I'll run away all that kind of stuff so yeah that's what I chose here it's nostalgic it's nice it's a nice feeling for me I don't know about you me I'm loving it I started music all my life I wrote my first song when I was in primary two it was about one girl that used to sit next to me and it sounded like Bismarck the song went oh baby you you got what I need but you say he's just a friend so yeah she used to like one of that guy, and I liked that. So I wrote a rap. So yeah, since then, it's just been in me, the music and all that. I studied creative arts, studied, mo studied modern language, but music kept calling me the whole time, and uh, yeah, I came back to music. It really kicked off in London. When I used to pay 150 pounds studio session, and I'll play this song for me and only my friends to hear. Then one day, one of my friends brought his phone, and he played one song, I said, this is a song that's written in Niger. And the boy happens to be a Jamaican. How he got this song, I don't know. And the next thing when he played it, the first thing I heard was, my Jamo friends, they, they called me something, something. I was like, Jamo friends? Ah, but I have Jamo friends now. Why am I here? I should be in Nigeria intimidating these people. And so, yeah, I rushed back on the next flight I could possibly get, and that was it. Shank was born. One of the challenges I faced was, like, you know, criticism from people. You know, people tend to criticize what they don't understand fully. And if they don't understand you at all, they'll be scared of you and they hate you. So yeah, it was a criticism. Criticism was a lot. People used to think I was going mad because I said I wanted to make music. They were like, ah, are you mad? See your friends, they're hustling, they're doing other things. And you, you want to be singing here. This guy has lost his mind. Have they deported this guy or something? So yeah, it was all that kind of stuff was going on. There was a lot of criticism. There was pressure from friends. Some of my friends pulled back for a minute. You know, they're like, ah, man, there's something wrong with this guy. I'll just leave this guy alone, man. So yeah, they pulled back for me. A couple, I lost a couple female friends as well along the line. They came back eventually, but I lost them initially. So, uh, so all that kind of stuff. Um, let's see. Learning the ropes of the industry too. That was something I was like learning how stuff really works. You can't just come there with your know-how as a regular person, and you want to now start imposing that on other people. The industry had, has a way it's built, and you have to like work with that. So yeah, that was something that was a challenge I faced as well. That's pretty much it, yeah. I have three words for people trying to get into the game, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, star? The game. It's not a game, you play music, but you're not playing for real, you know? So, I have three words for you. One, two, three. Focus and dedication. Pay. That's four. Be focused and dedicate your time and your efforts to your craft. Master it and just keep moving. Don't even be wavered by what people say because people tend to say a lot of stuff that will like get you down and try and like to depress you and try and like discourage you from what you want to do but if you have a dream man just do what you have to do focus and dedicate your time to it focus and dedication pay what i have to say to people who are trying to invest in the entertainment industry is it's a very lucrative business yes it's a million dollars something something you know all kinds of money's coming in and going out endorsements here endorsements there you know corporate bodies and you know the corporate world is involved now i'm even hoping for the government to come in but my brothers if you want to invest in entertainment find yourself some good talent and be ready to promote 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 is a key word to advertise the products that's that's the that's that's the, that's the power of the product if you have something that's really good you can't advertise it then there's no way you can sell it who wants to buy something they don't know exists so promote your talent push your artist don't be scared if I feel like you're throwing your money in the bottomless well, but man, when the well gets full, you won't even know, they won't tell you, the, well, the bell will ring, you know, and you, you'll be bawling like, yeah, yeah, I'm saying, you, know, so, you know what I mean? So yeah, invest, invest, invest in promotion, invest in your act, keep your act satisfied and promote. There we go. Yo, we're still on the road, and as you can see on the streets, anything can happen, anything can go on. Anybody can come up to you and say whatever they want to say, that's the road talk. And yeah, on this segment, we're talking about word on the street. Speaking of words, I want to ask my brother the latest language that's going down, you know, around these zones. So, boss, what's the lingo? Uh, bomb blast, you know, bomb blast, you know. Bomb, bomb blast. blast. Yeah. Did you hear that? He said, bomb blast. So, brother, what is the meaning of bomb blast? Bomb blast and things every so they go up, eh? When they come up in a way, every say you could not expect when they come up eh, in a miracle. Surprise, level, surprise level. level, you know. Okay. It's it's a a bomb blast. A bomb blast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, how you go take use and talk like in a sentence? You go say, okay, that party will go now. Bomb blast. But the party that that die in the hot, like it's one day. 
they hot like I say, now nah, which paro. So we say for the fly you, but uh, they hot like I say. But now bomb blast. Now nah, bomb blast. Oh yeah, 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 nice one, nice one. Thank you, boss. Oh, Thank no, you very much. Africa. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> My mother once told me, a man knows not where he's going, if he remembers not where he's from. <laughs> That's kind of funny, because I remember everything. This is my ode to the streets. This is my ode to the ghetto. Yours truly, Jeremiah Sharp. your boy Shang Diggly Dang the Julie Maestro we're still on street talent your boy is still on road bare talent bare things are going I'm speaking too much English I still live on streets you understand I can't hear something understand so this is my brother brother introduce yourself what's your name this is our natural B Mr. One Natural B which one is your name? Natural, Natural B. Natural B. I like that. That's good. That's catchy. Okay, so yo, my brother, what do you do? What exactly do you do? Me, mm, I do music for life. Music for life. The yes, boy, I, I do am. music for life. You know, you know, if you need to speak up, brother. If you hear you, you, you understand. You understand. Bless up, bless up. Overstand that. So yo, my brother is a you know, you are MC. Yes, I am. You are killed the microphone. You are dead it. Yes, I am. See, see. You're about to see that. Um, the brother say. In my thing, when I man say in my thing, in my thing, you know what's that? This is an MC, he's about to kill it, he's about to go in and we'll talk a little later after the boy's done doing his thing, yeah? No long talking. It's your camera. Take Why it. me can't resist? All the fun them always come up out of the street, me tell them. I am my brethren, we come, we fun till the break are done, we no running. Till the end of time, we turn them on, on and on, and all of them we call steel. They call me as a brother, they try to take the sugar for me till we meant to be together, and no corner, corner boy. See, living my life, yeah, see my life I'm living. See me life that I'm living till the end. See, living my life, yeah, see my life I'm living. The air that I'm breathing till the end. Back up, back up, all the root boy, them. Just jump up, jump up, the hood boy. We stick on the hood, and we're ready to face them. All of them, we are called, and we're ready to make them the best. We, we're ready, we rest, we life on the world. We're ready, everything we come so, so we come feel rip natural. Me come, so me come, we back, me run the street. Root boy, outside the street, we no play. We come every day, we always demonstrate. To the redeem, we always chant till the break are done every season. Yeah, life that I'm living, vibe that I'm flipping. Pon the redeem, night and day, and reason to the vibe. If them have come real, rude boy, you ever lit on real, real. Yo. Still living my life. You don't know, you don't hold know. Hold on, slow down, slow down. Okay, yes, fine. fine. The people have heard your vibe, they've heard your sound. You need to tell them who you are and how long you've been doing this, you know, what got you into music. Just let them know. About you. Only bad people. Me, me, they've been this long English, time. Like English, let them hear what you're saying. Yes, I, uh, you know, everybody. Kids, you know, I've been in music right from when I was small, when I, when I was a kid. What inspired me was I've always, when, when we're small at school, me and my friends, we do all this freestyle. And whenever we do all this freestyle, I do all this have it in mind. I want to, I'll grow up to become a superstar. Oh, I'm and sorry, sorry, that was sorry. what. That was what that was. That was how I came into music, and today I'm keeping it real, and that that is how it will be. Not until I get there, 
I'm not going to give up. So That's just me. Your stories, you were encouraged by friends, by people around you, your peers and all that. Yeah, yeah and with all this freestyle, yeah. my hood, and right from when I was still. Same here, same here, same yeah. here. That's great, that's great. Um, so, my brother, like, if people want to reach you online or something, how, how, how can they reach you? What's your Facebook? What's your all those level? Yes, I am uh, Anthony. You can reach me through Anthony B. Anthony B, Anthony B, Anthony B song. Anthony B song. Can you spell that? And, and is that Twitter? On YouTube. YouTube? Oh, yes, they can I get are. to view you on YouTube. Yes, okay, fine. I you are. have a channel on YouTube. Yes, I am. Oh, cool, cool. That's fine. And um, what's, what's the name of your channel? Anthony B. Song. Anthony B. Song. Yes, man. Okay, cool, cool. Anthony B. You, you could, we could all spell that. It's pretty simple. Anthony B. Song. So, yeah, check that out on YouTube. That's my brother doing his thing. No long talking. German Sherry was still on the road. Street talent. See me a circle with the original shank. I saw it a guan every day we done the thing. Why no long talking? Why me a born for the vibe when me flip them? Born the reading, tell them see me ready, me no rush. Tell them see me original, no push attack and crush. Me a born with the vibe, when the vibe me have it, and me will it on the sand every time me ride it. Like a bike, straight on the highway. Tell them see me born original, and I saw it a guan, you don't know, will it a big thing set up. Later, later, done. All right, people, you don't know. It's hot, it's fresh, then it's here on What's Hot. The show that gives you the lowdown on all the new hot color tunes, full music tracks, all the exciting apps and games available each week and every week. Plus, what's trending on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and surprise interviews too. Don't miss What's Hot every week on this station. Aka Novo, I don't come, I'm the new rap bobo. A lot of MCs come in here, they're rapping for a couple. Me, I rap for Naira, at the pound sterling. I rap for foreign currency, I rap for Euro. Who be the guy for your set? You don't guess, cause you know. Cause you they recognize my rhyme, you know my unique flow. If you they rap for free show, you end up with no dough. And sooner or later, you find out, say, be a lodo. Haters can't understand me, I'm a dribbler like mercy. If you wanna feel my cocoa, it's okay, you can feel my candy. Shanks have not my paddy, Ben Bruce have not my daddy. This flow should be fair, well, up from Lagos to Cali. Enemies that they fear me, they know if you come near me. You think say you know rude idea, you make it double dear me. I want girls here and care me. Girlfriend that she my family. Who be the bagger where they claim say you know if you hear me? Okay. Your boy Jay with a brand new flow cut. I'm back from the bases, me back with a formula. Rap so clear like glass of a tumbler. I ain't gonna fight a nigga, then I'm gonna trouble y'all. Listen, cause I act like Malcolm yep. and I'm fun. No even care of the outcome, cause I'm sure to make your old female life outcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, I'm the actor. The smallest thing I know, nigga, this car. An atom. I smoke as I am, I pack like ice yep. I spill fire, nigga, like I'm Dungeon Dragon. Yeah, man, I'm a Dungeon Dragon. Man, I'm a lyrical beast that can't be tamed. God make me wear, man, I can't complain. Like F4, nigga, I'm a flame one. You know that I'm bandy, nigga, then I'm a raid on. Yes, boss. Hey. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's like I'm being bombarded lyrically. You know what I'm Yes, boss. Well, we're still doing street talent. This is what we do. This is why we're out here. And my brothers, they've been doing their thing. So I want them to like introduce themselves formally to you. You go first. You pass the mic like we always do. You pass the mic to my brother. So let's know what's good. Yeah, it's your boy M to the Jizzle. I'm the lyrical monster. I rap, man. I rap nonstop. Like name got puss. Yep. I'm Michael. Mickey J. Somebody yep. beg this man. He's, he's <laughs> angry. This man is angry. <laughs> Hold on. Let's know your brother right here. Yeah. Hey, yo. My name is AK Nobu. I'm the hottest new single on the block. Wow. I am a rapper and I represent you, Nigeria. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let me start with you. How long have you been doing this, representing Nigeria? Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I won't say I've been doing this since I was born in my womb. I said doing it when I was like 13. I was being influenced by um, great music masters like um, the great um, Fela Kuti. There we go. Uh, then much. I got a little influence because rap is something that is an imported culture. So I got a little of my influence from the Dr. Dre's, the Snoop Dogg's and the B.I.G.'s. Yes. I have an influential person in Jay-Z. He's like a father and a mentor to me. I would like to meet him personally. And I'm inspired by people that are higher than us and greater than us. So like our brother here, that is from the ghetto, Shank. 
<laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. Pass the mic real quick. Let me know what's good with your brother. Bro. My brother, yes. I see you rap non-stop. So how long have you been doing this? You know, because if you don't stop, you might might as well be on the Guinness Book of World Records. How long have you been doing this? Yeah, rapping okay. non-stop. 2010, 2010. 2010? Yeah, Okay, that's like three years going on four. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so yeah, you're you're pretty much a toddler to this thing. But yeah, still, yeah. fam, you're pretty good. Like, what made you start? Uh, yeah, actually, I Ginger. like listening to the Nas. Gingles. Nas is my like my legend. I love him. I love his song, and I just developed the attitude. Same here. I love Nas. I love yeah, that. just so, developed the attitude. Nas is your inspiration. Yeah, yeah. That made you say, "Guy, go and rap." Yeah, bro. <laughs> okay, 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 yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Too, yeah, no, you, can, you, you, you can't front on that. Okay, yeah. Nas, Nas Tradamus is good. So, um, let's see, let's see. Where do you see yourself for the next five years? Like whoa. half a decade, like real quick. Just whoa, where do you, whoa. what do you see yourself doing with your craft? Oh, I'm not saying eh. You see yourself as a baby father. Nah, international. Eh, craft, what do you see yourself doing with your craft? International, like years? like like collaboration abroad, in house, everywhere. Like listening to me, my music everywhere in every TV station, in every in every FM house, interview there and everywhere, my brother, everywhere, bro. I wish you all the best and. Yeah, trust me, dreams do come true. Keep pushing, focus on dedication, pace. Yes, Let me talk to this yes, brother boss. real quick. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to pass it to you. I'm going to talk like this. You don't mind, do you? Okay, so yeah, uh, uh, please uh, introduce yourself one more time, you know? Okay, my name is AK Novo, AKA the new rap single, the hottest new single on the block. We are here, we represent Nigeria, and we're here to redefine MC. So, by saying single, you mean that you don't have a girlfriend? Yes, I do not have the. Too many fishes in the pond. Whoa. Oh, so that's why you're the rap single. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Hottest okay. new single. Hottest new single. Yes. Okay, Hot fine. You heard the man. You take the mic. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. Let me Stage not, is mine. Let me not jack the swag <laughs> anymore. So yeah. Um. Let's see. When did you start doing this? Why? What? Where do you see yourself in the next five years? I've, I've asked you that question before. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Half a decade. Um, what do you see yourself doing? What? How, the next what kind of five stuff? years, I see myself at the top of the music charts. Bang. In Nigeria, I hopefully then I'll be something that will be known in the whole of Africa. And um, at least international, we have to go there. Like Nigerians are making it up there now. Peace to a lot of people who are having like uh, the band, a lot of people like whiskey that are having this international clout and taking us out there. We have a lot to offer in our culture and our form of music. And so we have to take it far and wide. Music has a lot to offer to people and we have a lot to offer to music as musicians. So, so I said, see myself music there. is the weapon of the future. Yes. This is the future, the future yes. has become the past, we are the, the future. past is going to be the present. And yes. Music is a weapon, period. Bamba cloud, just shoot them down with the thing there. So yo, I wish you all the best, my brother, I see you, yeah. Thank you, bro. You want to be doing things in five years, do your thing. Push, focus on dedication, pays, do, you know, you get me, just face this thing, don't watch anybody, don't watch anything that anybody's yeah, telling you from behind, though. Sure. How do we get your contacts? Yeah, if you don't get to me, um, you can get to me on Facebook. My name is Awoden Akiola, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, Awoden Akiola at Twitter. Yep, that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not easy on the street, though. It's real out here. Niggas, hey. The name is Mickey J Afalabi on Facebook and Mickey J on Twitter. That's just it. Mickey J Anthony yeah. B. I like it. I like it out here. They keep it real. No long talking. Your boy Shang Digdi Dag, you're still watching Street Talent and I'm out here. You know how it is. Sweating in the sun, in the rain for you people. You have to love me back, oh. I got to give you your love. That's wasted love. Reciprocate. Baby, come on, give it to me. Oh. <laughs> Yep. Um, welcome back. I can, I can say welcome, I can say goodbye, because um, this is the end of the show and end of my session, because next time it's going to be someone else. I hope you're as live as me. 
that's their business. But yeah, we've seen the talent, we've seen everything. It's been real, it's been raw, it's been fun. Yours truly, Shaq Nigidang, German shirt signing out. If you don't want me to go, I will cut. In fact, 